Hey everybody, it's me again, Danny. As you can see, I've uh, I've really let myself go. It's a long day's work. It's about 10 p.m. right now. I'm exhausted after a long day's work at Chess.com and Chess Kid, and I said, let's go play some Gambit games. Let's go get it. I'm going to go catch that beautiful butterfly. All right, let's see if we can get some of these games started. Okay. I was searching for several games. I was looking for... Um, you know, some multiple, we had multiple options for as far as games that I was looking for go. Um, but this is what we got. We got another oh ship and oh ship. Uh, okay. I, I, I was dreaming about a strategy the other day. And I'm going to show you what it is. Um, wait, what was it? I was going to... Uh, I was dreaming about a strategy that was like crazy, okay? Let me move my guy. It's just not very intuitive, is it? There we go. Okay. I'm going to go a long ways, okay? So if they get this and go that way, we'll see. See, You see what I'm saying? And then if they try to come down this way, they're thinking, I already killed that ship. I'm not going to look anymore in that area, right? And then even if they get that, then there's this one. So there's a space in between where it's empty. So if they guess if they guess this and then go here it's empty, then they know it's like up or down, right? So I'm trying to think I'm trying to give like some empty spaces that make it less likely that they would find it. All right, I'm doing that. I'm going crazy. Now I actually am developing a strategy here. Seriously, watching me do this is, I mean, I'm in pain, okay, watching myself do this. So I know all of you are like, hey, what? I can't sit here and watch this guy screw it up one more time. <laughs> but no, I, I, I'm going to explain my strategy when it's done, okay? Boom. What? Uh, diagonal. What's he going to do? Aha, he missed. Diagonal. Okay. Diagonal. Hit. Okay. It's not sunk? Whoa. Uh-oh. Okay, so now he's going to go that way and see he's not going to guess around this anymore. I'm telling you, that's part of the plan. Okay, now I'm going to go diagonal this way. Yeah, I know. Just kill it. I get it. I already killed your battleship, homie. Uh-oh. Man, I'm such an amateur. What is wrong with me? I don't even know where to go right now. Is there a pattern? I need somebody to tell me. Is there a pattern to how you're supposed to guess? I feel like I should get better at this as I go. Okay, I'm gonna go here, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna try to stay with this diagonal kind of method. Now maybe I should guess around here, thinking that he's thinking the way I'm thinking, right? Let me just try to guess one right next to it just to see what happens. Uh oh. Okay, see, here's my point. If he goes that way, he's now sunk both of those, and so he's not going to be guessing right next to it in the middle. He's going to be going over here and down here right now because that's, that's the way it works. That's the way you start thinking about it. The problem is I'm going with the same kind of strategy, and clearly it's not. My guessing strategy is clearly no bueno. I mean, seriously. Go up and down. Come on. 
Don't go sideways, because then you're going to figure out that my aircraft carrier's there. Yes! This will be wanted, everybody. The chances of him now finding the aircraft carrier went way down. I know it was a, it was a gambit. Hey, we're on gambit.com. I swear I didn't even mean to do that. Oh, man. I'm, uh... I feel like... I feel like this strategy is going to pay off. Okay? Because he's, he's going to be guessing around the board now. He's going to be freaking out. He's going to be freaking out. Whoa. Whoa. Land ho, matey. Didn't know it. Bet you didn't know this. I was, I was Captain Nimoy in my past life. I remember that guy was that found Moby Dick. Okay, that was me. Out in the Navy. Let me just say that this ain't the first time I've gone, you know, boat hunting, all right? Yeah, you're guessing over there. Guess whose strategy is paying off? This guy's. This guy's strategy. I took a risk. I played a gambit in the spirit of our website. Yeah, I don't even care that I missed. I feel so confident that you are not going to find my ship right now. I just feel so confident about it. I know what he's, right, he's doing right now. He's freaking out because he knows it's getting close. See, and, but he's going to stay with the pattern because he doesn't know what else to do. Okay. Um, all right. So now I'm going to go down here. I know it's a little bit risky because we already kind of know that there's nothing going on here, but I'm going to bet there's a transport in here somewhere. I'm going to bet there's a transport in here. I, I'm, I'm pretty far off from knowing where his little guy is. The little guy is so hard to find. No! No! He found it! He found it! No! Okay, pressure's on. It's down to the little guy. It's a little guy or bust right now, everybody. All right. I believe in my own strategy. I believe in you, Danny. The little guy is probably sitting right next to one of these ships, and I just can't seem to find it. Bam. Bam. Little guy found. Transport coming. See, now it's a huge advantage. Because I can guess here, and I know it's not anywhere in there. Right, now I can guess here, and I've eliminated that. No! He found it! He found it! <laughs> this is just, it's just depressing. It's depressing. You know what I recommend when it's late at night and you're depressed? If you're looking for a healthy snack to help you eat your feelings, gummy snacks. I highly recommend gummy snacks if you're in, you know, a mood where you got to eat your feelings. Less calories than ice cream, okay? No saturated fat, and they're delicious. <sighs> Let's go play another game. Later at night, eat your feelings. Um... Let's go find another game. Okay. Boomtown. This is where Danny gets his swag back. Rock, paper, scissors. I was born to play rock, paper, scissors all day. Born to play rock, beat, scissors. You're damn right it did. Beat the, beat the tar out of scissors. I'm going to stay with rock. He's probably going paper, though. Nope. I'm anticipating, Holmes. Now I'm going to go scissors and anticipate... No. I'm going to stay with Rock again. Psychologically, he expects me to switch now. Oh, he did switch. To My first instinct was correct. Always trust your instincts, kids. Mmm. We both went paper. Is he going to stay or switch? I'm going to go back to Rock. Mmm. Psychologically, he's right along there with me. Now I'm going scissors. Taking a risk that he's either going scissors or paper. But if he stays... Okay, I did it. I thought he might stay with rock if he was counterattacking my counterattack, but he wasn't. He was doing the old number one. And guess what? I anticipate number one, and I beat number one all the time. Okay? No. Stick with paper. 
Stick with paper. Stick with paper. Stick with... Ah! He survives yet again. If anybody makes a comment in the comment section that this is an Angry Birds shirt, you're out of my life. This is Perry the Platypus, the greatest spy on the history. He's a super spy. He wears a fedora. You know, I might find him, you know, kind of good looking. I don't know. Um, ah! getting distracted focus on the moment danny focus on the moment rock paper scissors i'm staying paper staying paper no no it's it it's coming down to the end it's coming down to the end rock beat scissors boom guess who wins and guess who's on a plus five win streak when it comes to rock paper scissors this guy should i view my trophy case no i want to i want to rematch I want to rematch this guy. You know why I can't? Because he ran away. You guys have seen it. You've seen it right here. I know this is much more of a game mentally tonight. This isn't, you know, just O ship or whatever, but this is me. This is the real me. A cut off, Perry the Platypus, you know, tanklet, you know, tank top, exhausted, eating his feelings in the form of gummy snacks. This is the real Danny Wrench. Try to get a reality. Get a reality, people. That's what's going on. All right, we're continuing to look. Uh oh, wifey's calling. Go home because it's past 10 o'clock. Wifey wondering where you are. Or seek all five of your favorite games on Gambit.com at the same time and wait to see who, who accepts first. Hmm. Obviously, we choose the latter. Let's spin to win, by the way. One of the cool things you get to do is spin to win. I have never won more than 50. And you know what? There's probably some, like, old lady out there who stumbled upon Gambit, the same kind of person you see at the slots winning while the while the machine next to you is just sucking up all your money, who gets, like, a 1,000 every time. I'm going to talk to Jay about this. That's right. Ooh, guess what? We have another Rochambeau matchup. Oh, I'm going to get it. 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 I'm going to wrap my paper around your rock. Wrap my paper around your rock because I know that you stay in with the rock. Uh. Uh-oh. Okay. Time to focus. Who I got? Big Mookie? Okay. Okay. I'm staying with paper. Likely he'll change. Yeah. No way he was going with scissors another time. Um, I'm going to stay with paper again and test this guy's resolve. Mm -hmm. He's thinking the same way I am. Which is why I'm going to stick with it again. Because he's going to expect me to switch to scissors, and I'm going to stay there. And he's going to rock. Boom. Who knew it? I knew it, and I called it. Now I switch to rock. Because he doesn't st either sticks with rock again, or he, or he sticks with scissors. Boom. Boom. How did I know? I don't know. I just know. Right now, I'm on freaking fire right now. I'm sticking with rock again. This guy's, this guy's, this, I feel like I know this guy's every move. I know what he had for breakfast. Okay, Raisin Bran Crunch with lactose-free milk. Oh, but I didn't know that. Okay, I'm going to stick with this again. Stick with this again. He's probably going paper, though. It's going to be a tie. Nope. I won again. Okay, it's another bunch of chips. And guess who offered a rematch? This guy. Because he's frustrated. No, I'm ex I accepted your rematch. Where'd you go, Big Mookie? Ah, you're running away. Wish I could just click on someone's username and rematch right there. That's what I want to do. I want to rematch him. No, we're going back to Gambit. Let's play it again. See if someone wants it. Either that or we'll we'll seek every game possible. But seriously, the wifey's calling. I've been eating my feelings here for about an hour and a half. After this video, people could be like, man, is Danny having marital issues? He's talking about eating feelings and playing capture way past his bedtime. Where did that guy go? I was about to accept it. But no. Gummy snacks just happen to be addictive. Wife and I are doing okay. You know, any marriage. Ten years deep. Three kids. In a good way, you know. I don't thrive on controversy. I know what you guys are thinking. This guy just likes it when we're thinking things weird are going on. That's not what I'm doing. I'm really just really hot right now in my office. 
I'm kind of sweaty. I'm saving money on my air conditioning. I don't even know what I'm talking about. All right, let's get another game here, shall we? Yeah. Okay. Dots and boxes. The goal is if you if you're the one who fills a box, you get scores. And you get to go again. So the tricky thing is like sort of trapping your opponent into filling a box first. Or sorry, in, into setting up a scenario where you're filling the box and they're not. So it's like a it's a game of space and um space anticipation and control so i want to i want to go along this line because i want to remind him that i'm ready to close close caption warning i'm ready to close the box on his dreams as soon as i'm given the chance close the close the box on his future so if i go there he goes there and gets to go again, and he gets the plus three. So I can't do that. I have to keep rolling this way. Um, if I go there, he can't close the box, and he can't close that one. So that's an advantage. And if he goes to either one of those squares, I close the box. If I go there, he goes there and closes the box, but then he gets that one. But then he has nothing. So I'm going to go there and let him get the plus two. Okay. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. So I'm going to take the plus two. He wasn't thinking ahead. Um, so now I got three. I was trying to give that to him as like a gambit because if he takes that and he runs out of space. So if I go there, he closes that one and he gets only one. But then like I'm reversing the tempo. So watch, he'll close that one and he'll get one. But... um. Oh, he doesn't, but there's nothing to close after, but he's just giving it to me. I'm going to take it. Okay, wait, maybe he's outplaying me right now, and I don't even get it. I have to be very careful. If I could calculate ahead, it would make a difference, but part of the thing that makes this game so fun is you have no time. The time is like, you have 30 seconds total, so at a certain point here, I'm going to try to use my chess skill and just calculate. Maybe I should use it now. So here goes his time. He's ticking away. No, he moved. What? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come again. Um, if I go there, he takes the box, and then he gets that one, and then he gets that one. So he gets on a roll. So here goes my 30 seconds. I'm going to calculate. Are there any moves left that don't even give him any options? I don't think so. I think any move I go for is going to allow him the closure of some kind of box. Oh, but that's what I do then. I go there, because if he closes that box, he loses three, right? I think so. But then he goes there. But then I go there, and he gets a minus four. Right? So, if we're calculating the pattern, then... Um, If he if he takes the wrong box right now, I'm gonna run away with it. All right, and he and he knows it, so he's taking his time. Where'd he go? He went there, which is a smart move because if I go there, I get minus three. Okay, but now if I go there, he gets one for that, like NBD. No, I'll just go there. If he goes there, he gets minus four. If he goes there, he gets that, but he puts himself in position to close the minus one too. I think he'll probably go there. What? Okay, well, I'm going to take that guy and take that guy because I'll take the minus one, but then I roll it. I roll it. So the gambit paid off, right? Because now, now I'm running away with this. Now I go here and see if he goes there, he closes the box and gets minus four. So my gambit paid off and I'm beating him 18 to nothing. Calculating the pattern ahead is the key. Okay, so now I get this. Oh, is that all I get? Hmm, that stunk. I guess I'll just give it to him, because I think put him in position where he's going to take some boxes, but it, it's not 
he can't get 18. He can't get enough. He'll close that. He'll close that. He'll close that. But guess what? He's going to run into a position where he has to close one of the minuses. And he has to take everything. I just forced his hand. Oh, no, I didn't. No. Darn it. Is he going to beat me? Now he forced my hand. That was a huge blunder by me. Okay, so I still won. But definitely not nearly as, as ahead as I wanted to. Let's play one more match against this guy to prove it wasn't luck. But again, part of the strategy is anticipating putting your opponent in Zugzwang, which is a chess term. Um, basically, it means that uh, move compulsion. Zugzwang is it's your move, but any move loses. And so you want to anticipate putting them in a, in a Zugzwang scenario um, surrounding, uh, surrounding the minus box specifically. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to build like a, a build a bridge around that idea. Um, let's see if I can take this guy down two in a row. So obviously we know if we go here, he can close this box. He gets nothing. But okay, we'll take this road, anticipating closing him out eventually. That's fine. We'll take we'll take this road. At this point, it's hard to calculate everything ahead, but, um, so if you go there, he can close out a plus three, which is bad. If you go there, he can, he can't close out anything, can he? No. I mean, he can close out that guy. Oh, and with tempo, yeah. We don't want him to close out anything with tempo. Okay, so we'll go here, allowing him to close out, allowing him to close out this with tempo, but obviously we're not stressed about that. And so we're going to try to force his hand to the corner. Okay, so that was nice. He understands what he's doing here. I'll go there. So if he rolls with the gambit, he gets to go again, exactly. But, but he doesn't get enough, so he doesn't want to take it. So if I take this square... If he goes there, he closes out. He gets on a roll. So I, I want to try to trap him into closing out the plus, minus 3 and the minus 4. So I'm going to take this one. No. That would be bad. Hmm. If I go there, he gets to close it out, but he gets a minus 2, kind of, right? So I don't want to allow... That he'll get plus two overall. We're circling, we're circling like a shark, anticipating the critical squares we want to force him to trap into. I think at some point here he'll run out of space. Okay, well, that helps. I will take both those squares happily. So he, he plays the gambit, but I don't, I don't really feel like it does enough for him to justify giving me those two points, honestly. Because I don't see the, the full future in that. Oh, that was a blunder. I didn't mean to, actually. Yeah, he's going to take that as well. Or at least he should. I can't get, in, I can't get forced into the scenario I did last time for sure. If I get forced to the city last time where I had to take a, like a minus eight right at the end, I, I'd lose. I'm de I definitely don't have the same kind of advantage here. Okay, well, we'll take both of these. So if I can take there and he goes there, he gets that box, right? If I go here, then he gets that box and then that box. Oh, no. I should have gone there, right? Yeah. I should have gone there. Now he's going to go there. Darn it. That could have been a game-losing blunder. Could be. No, that was wrong. He shouldn't have done that. I don't think he should have done that. I think he should have gone here. 
Oh, well, I guess it works out the same for him, truth be told. If I go there, I take minus 4, but then I get that one, then I get plus 4 and plus 3. So I'll take the minus along with the plus. That's a combination to try to run with it. But I get pretty stuck. If I take that, it's just minus 2, minus 1. So I might as well go here. Right? He goes there, gets only plus 2, because he, then he's going to close that out. I think. I think I'm going to get the win. I think he has to take that. Now he has to take the minus 2. He's going to take the plus 4 and the plus 3. Oh, but, oh no, he barely beats me. All right, rubber match. Rubber match and then home. Homeward bound. I miscalculated the points there. He was only five points behind me, I guess. So uh, so he had enough to leapfrog me. It was a close game, though, I think. I mean, I'm not a, uh, you know, a dots and boxes chess master. Notice how, because I am a chess master, I use the term chess master. I'm not a box and dot and, bo you know, dots and boxes chess master. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but I did stay at Holiday Inn Express last night. Oh, that was silly of me. No, I'm just not even paying attention. Come on, Danny. Focus. We want to try to force someone's hand to go right there. That's going to be like the losing move, honestly. I'm giving him these squares, but that's a bad idea. Why am I giving him points? Huh. Was that the right idea for him? I guess so. I didn't see that coming, that's for sure. He's got a 7 nothing lead now. He'll take the minus 1 and then get that, but... Uh, well, now I guess it would be just a big wash. I feel like I had a better feel for where the last one was headed, and I, I don't know why it didn't work out in the end anyway. But that was just my my thinking, oh, which eventually turned out wrong. Wait, did I just miss that? Wow, I was not on my game right now. I don't think there's any chance to come back, honestly. I don't think I have any chance to come back unless I can force his hand into taking the minus four. If I take that, I get nothing. If I take that, he's going to take these two. So I'm just, I'm, I'm up against it right now. I don't have any chance to, uh, to roll the, the table. I have no chance to roll the table. I guess I'll take these two because it, Basically, it's just a wash, but I don't see any chance, so. Yeah, he takes it all now.
Oh no. I guess I take it all, huh? He takes the plus two and then he has to take the minus four. But he wins. No choice. Well, I learned something there, right? Wait. No, he gave me the plus two. And then I have to take the minus four. I wasn't on top of that at all, right? I feel like I want to keep playing right now because I want to learn the game. But I can't. I'm out of, I'm out of time. And I'm going to do what good husbands do and stop playing video games. <laughs> all right, everybody. See you on Gambit. See you on Chess. Follow me on Twitter, hashtag Gambit Games. You know the drill. Later, later.